Hey guys, welcome back to Maya's Bug. On um, the last episode, we went through the back end. We got a new torsion housing slash pivot tube. Um, we rebuilt the rear trailing arms. We took out the uh, the angled articulation of the rear travel. So now it is perpendicular to the track of the vehicle. And we do not get any camber change throughout the range of travel. Uh, this is what we ended up with. A uh, five by five rear trailing arm, perpendicular to the track width. Um, one thing that's been uh, happening online is people send me a lot of recommendations on how to take care of some things. Um, there's a lot of them and everyone seems to have their own idea on how to do things and they think it is the right way. And there's no problem with that. But I've learned that uh, going through a lot of people's recommendations that there's a lot of contradicting information. And one of the things is once people send me information about uh, a failure that they've had and a first-hand experience of something that they've uh, dealt with out on the trail. Um, I take it very seriously and I want to try to mitigate that right away. One of the things is boxing these this outer pivot section. These three tubes, they seem super beefy. This thing seems super beefy. But um, after some of the guys uh, contacted me and showed me some photos of some of the failures happening around this section here, uh, I'm going to box it. So I picked up some 4130 chromoly eighth inch thick plate. I'm gonna make some templates here uh, for in here and in here, and I'm gonna box this sucker out. Uh, should be real simple, won't add a lot of weight, but it's gonna add a lot of strength. So uh, let's get started on that. But first, go to myasbugstore.com. You guys should pick up some really cool t-shirts. It really helps me. Um, I'm trying to uh, get a engine adapter, a Kennedy engine adapter. Um, if you wanna help me out, uh, every t-shirt you buy, it's going to help me get something. So uh, let's get this thing built.
right, guys, this thing is wrapped up. Um, I noticed earlier that I was saying I was boxing it, but I'm actually plating it. There is a difference. So um, the TIG welds came out uh, okay. I am no expert, but they're gonna hold. And I wanted to make sure I TIG welded it because this these plates are 4130 chromoly. Um, so it is plated uh, on this inside support and the full outside. Um, I had to clamp some things down and hit it with a hammer and stuff because this center tube is inch and a quarter and these outside two are one inch. So the plate actually had to bend over that. Um, but yeah, it came out really good. I'm really happy with it. I think this is going to be super strong. Um, the second arm is almost done. I'm letting it cool off. I'm going to do a couple more welds on it. But then these two are done. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe. And if you guys are interested, I have shirts, cups, all kinds of stuff on mysbugstore.com. All right, guys. Catch you later.